Zelensky calls for urgent peace talks with Russia. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Kabul BNA Ukraine's parliament. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has called for meaningful and fair talks without the later Russia invasion, framing it as a chance for Moscow to limit the damage created by its own mistakes. In a video address early on Saturday, Zelensky said it is time to meet, time to talk, it is time to restore territory integrity and justice for Ukraine. Otherwise, Russia's losses will be so huge that several generations will not be enough to be bound. The war must end, he added. Ukraine's proposal are on the table. In the south, at least 40 Ukrainian soldiers were reported killed following the Russian airstrike on an army barracks in the city of, Me of Mykoliv. Adding to local re media reports, the mayor of Mykoliv, Oleksandr Sekovich, said on Facebook on Friday that several villages in the region had been occupied and the city had been under heavy fire, calling it a difficult day. Fighting continues in the key port city of Mariupol, with Ukraine's defense military saying late on Friday it had temporarily lost access to the sea of Azov, which connects to the Black Sea and would be a major loss for Ukraine. Zelensky accused Russian forces of creating a humanitarian catastrophe, thereby deliberately blocking supplies from reaching the city in the bid to force residents to comply with their targets. Calling the move a war crime, the president said Russian soldiers would face a one-way compulsory ticket to the Hague, where the International Criminal Court sits, according to a Guardian report. More than 350 civilians have been stranded with little food or water in Maripol, which is under constant bombardment on Friday. Russia said its forces were tightening the news around the city, when estimated 80% of the city's homes had been damaged. Some 9,000 people have managed to flee Maripol while work continues to reach the hundreds of civilians believed to be trapped in a shelter under the city's theater, which was destroyed by Russian bombing on Wednesday. About 130 people have been rescued from the rubble, some seriously injured. There is no word yet on a death toll. Across the nation, Zelensky said the advent of Russian forces had ground to halt, a view echoed by Western intelligence agencies. The continued targeting of civilians in Parapol was said to, was said by the British military to be a sign of Russia's failures in the first three weeks of the war. General Jim Hunkin Hull, Chief of Defense Intelligence, said the Kremlin had so far failed to achieve its object original objectives. It has been surprised by the scale and ferocity of Ukrainian resistance and has been bedviled with problems of its own making. Russians' operations have changed. Russia is now pursuing the strategy of attrition. This will involve the reckless and indiscriminate use of firepower. This will result in increased civilian casualties, destruction of Ukrainian infrastructure, and intensify the humanitarian crisis. Putin has reinforced his control over Russian domestic media. The Kremlin is attempting to control the narrative, hide operational problems, and must call high Russian casualty numbers from the Russian people. In other development, Zelensky said he will continue to appeal to world leaders to call for peace in Ukraine or plans to address Switzerland, Italy, Israel and Japan. He has spoken with Ukrainian ambassadors around the world to intensify the supply of humanitarian goods for displaced people in Ukraine. Joe Biden, the two-hour call with China, Xi Jinping, described the implications and consequences if China provides material support to Russia as it conducts brutal attacks against Ukrainian cities and civilians. The White House said without giving further details. The Chinese account of the conversation in the state news agency Xinhua said it was candid and in-depth. The UN has reported 816 confirmed civilian deaths. Kiev officials said 222 people had been killed in the capital, including 60 civilians and four children. It said more than 3.2 million people have fled, with 2 million displaced inside the country. Putin has praised national unity during a rare public speech at a rally in Moscow Stadium to mark the eight, 80th anniversary. To mark the 80th anniversary of Russia's annexation of Crimea, the country has not seen unity like this in a long time. Putin said 
addressing a large flag-waving crowd on Friday from a stage decked out slogan such as for a world without Nazism and for president, Moscow police said more than 200,000 people we are in and around Lajengi Stadium. Shalansky referred to the rally in his own address, urging viewers to imagine the stadium filled with Russians, 14,000 were dead and tens of thousands more injured. Hmm. This war, or Yemimo, this war is getting it's getting too long and people are dying. That is the most important thing. Whether you like it or not, people who this thing does not concern, people who don't even want to be dragged alongside are being dragged. Women are dragged, children are dragged, um, aged people are dragged. People who are ill are dragged. Everyone, even orphans, are not spared because I want to believe that there are orphans in these cities. Now, I don't even want to understand the logic. I don't want to come and tell me, oh, Russia is trying to prevent or protect its territory. It's trying to protect its territory and it's spilling blood. I don't want you to come and say, eh, but it is not only in Ukraine that this has happened. I'm telling you that two wrongs does not make a right. So in essence, I'm not even saying, I don't want to be logical here. What I'm saying is enough is enough. Hey, yes, so come my friend with see you. Let Nigeria not go. But me, I'm saying personally, if they come and ask me, oh, I will say these people, leave them alone. Okay, NATO, come on hand. Leave these people alone. Leave Zelensky and Putin. And I mean, leave them alone so that let us even see what will happen. NATO, back out. That thing that you, that thing that Russia said, oh, I don't want to be able to do. Please, it is not time to come and say, hey, we are going to do it and nothing will happen. Please, people are dying. Come on. I don't want you to believe that you are happy and you want more war. I don't want to believe so. It is time. We are in, the, we are in, 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 an, in an era where there is so much hot everywhere. And the only reasonable thing to do is to avert it. There is so much hot everywhere. Things are not okay. Things are not fine. A lot of things have gone wrong. You don't add to it. You don't add to people's problem. Yes. Okay, fine. And the West have done it before. European countries have done it before. Nobody talked to them. Unfortunately, people are talking about this one. And people like me are saying, enough of the bloodshed. Shield your sword. The mouth is given for communication. Communicate with, you know, Russia. Communicate with Ukraine. Ukraine communicate with Russia. Tell them, what exactly do you want? So that is what I be, what, that is my own. Yes, oh, Russia um, is trying to protect its territory. NATO is trying to help Ukraine. When you have seen that your help is causing problem, you're claiming you want to help. Okay, NATO, you're claiming you want to help. And your help is causing problems. What do you think should happen? You're saying this is, it is more than be careful. People are being bombed. Things that will take time. You're not going to give these people money. The only money you're giving to these people now is, to, is during this war. Immediately this war stopped, you stop giving these people support. Ukraine will be on their own. They don't even know what is going on. I've said my own. Dialogue will still solve. Dialogue will solve a problem that in such a way that there will not be even one single drop of blood and there will be not be there will be not be wasted funds. You will not throw funds into you'll not waste funds. Okay, on this note we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.